Welcome. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps spread the word and helps make more of these videos possible. If you like this video even more, you can make a recurring donation via Patreon or a one-time donation via Coffee. The links are all in the description below. Enjoy the video. This is Gary again, and I have another video for you today. Today, what I'm going to be doing is we're just going to be swatching. Um, nothing too complicated and grand paints, but, um, I thought I would swatch them and revisit them with some other things that I have. So these were the original paints that I had at the time. I think there might've been one more that I ran out of. So these are the original paints that I had at the time. And I also purchased a tube of ultramarine pink after seeing a video from Abe's Bolt and Terra Rosa. Um, I think it was featured in like Art Snacks once and I wasn't a member of the Art Snacks, but everybody does such great things with it that I got it. And it is a pretty color, but boy, is it, it's, it, it's very wet. Um, in addition to that, I have purchased and been gifted um, one of these sets from a fan, but I've purchased the rest of them. So this is the Quinacrone uh, set and this has five colors. All of these sets are exactly the same. They all come with um, five colors and they're usually together in various themes. So the theme for this one was Quinacrone. So it was Quinacrone um, gold, Quinacrone red, Quinacrone rose, Quinacrone rust, and I think Quinacrone violet was the last one. So it was rust and violet. Those are the last ones. I'm not going to go through all the colors, but I just thought I would go through the colors in this one because we're going to go through the colors when we, when I do the swatching of pretty much all of these colors. And then this is the, um, the cityscape set, which I actually really enjoyed this set. Although I probably would have replaced the sepia with another color um the only thing i don't like about these sets is that none of these sets work for me at least well all that well on their own and in fact when they do the pictures you can kind of see evidence that they've used other colors like this one has a sort of blue tint and it makes me feel like they might have used other colors in this i could be wrong um but anyway so for me at least i find that none of these work really well on their own but if you get like two or three of these sets then they work really well together um this is the cityscape set and the set um comes with these colors like i said we're gonna go through the colors and we're gonna swatch everything um and this, this is the Pacific Northwest set. And um, this one I believe I got from a fan. This is Daxine Purple, um, Yellow Ochre, um, and so on and so forth. So this is another good set. And this is, I might have, this I think I also got from a fan. This is Marine Scape. And um, these are the colors in this one. And so I have everything. I got a little swatching sheet together so we can swatch them all out as well as I have poured them into these um, little half pans. I do still have, and there is some paint still left in it in the uh, Magello set, and that's what I used originally, but I actually ran out of colors in the Magello set, and then I was using a 24, uh, a tin that holds 12 that I'd converted to 24, but this will hold um, 44, 45 colors. So this should last me a long time. I think I have currently 27. This is a random Daniel Smith spare that I have here. I think this is new gamboge that I never used much of. Um, so anyway, but I think the, these will hold 44, 47, 44, 45 colors. Um, and I currently only have 27 M grams. So this is perfect for me right now. And, um, I have this here to swatch those colors out and um, I will be right back. I did make a mixing chart with these M grams and I'm going to show you a mixing chart that I made with the three sets minus the Quinn gold because I think I got the Quinn the Quinn set because I got the Quinn set after I got these these three sets. So I did make a mixing chart with these three sets and I'm going to show you that before we get into the swatching really briefly about these um these sets i do really like these sets because you get five tubes and one of these tubes is anywhere from nine to like 15 bucks so you get like you know usually around the 10 11 dollar range so you get five tubes and depending on the price of the individual tubes in a set um one of these sets can be anywhere from 30 all the way up to i think the um the cobalt set is like um 50 plus um but that's the most expensive set and um these sets you know they usually are like under 40 dollars 
Um, so you get five tubes for less than the cost of four, sometimes the cost of three tubes. I think I got the cityscape for less than 30 bucks when I got the cityscape. Um, the price on the cityscape has gone on since then. I wonder if they changed the colors that are in a cityscape. Um, but the price has gone up a little bit in the cityscape since I bought mine. Um, the other thing is, as I mentioned, I had a really hard time using just the sets individually. And I do have, um that I did, I did make mixing charts with the individual sets. And I guess when I do a full review of those, I will, um, I'll show you that, but this is the mixing chart that I made with the three sets that I have, which is the, that I had at the time. I just got the Quinn gold. Um, the, I keep calling it the Quinn gold. I just got the Quinn Acronol set, um, on black Friday. So, um, so it, this wasn't included. I made this chart well before that. I think I made this chart probably over the summer. And, um, what this has is marine scape, cityscape and Pacific Northwest. I think there's also a Pacific Southwest set. Um, but don't quote me on that. I think there's also a Pacific Southwest set. The other thing to keep in mind about these sets is that, um, they, there's some overlap, especially in some of the older set, like the landscape set and the south set both have a lot of the same colors. So you just have to be mindful when you're buying the set so you don't end up with a whole bunch of duplicates. Like I think sap green appears in multiple sets. Yellow ochre also appears in multiple sets. So you just have to be mindful. And other than the, um, the quinacridone set, there's not really very many cool reds in these sets um as you can see this is a this is a, a chart like maybe one of my first mixing charts that i made and um this is the this is the the current mixing chart with the colors from the three sets they're all sort of jumbled in together but you can see once you put the three sets together um this will give you about 15 colors and um even though the permanent alizarin crimson is not as cool as i would like you can still um get really nice purples um and you could still do most of what you could with a cool red i'd want it to be a little bit cooler than that but it's it's fine so um so Overall, I really like these these sets as a way to sort of complete your M. Graham collection. Um, I hope that they do have more sets in the future with uh, more different kinds of colors in them um, and a way to sort of round out the existing sets that are already available without having duplicates. Um, I think what happened was they originally were just doing the, the sets like with their own individual themes and then I guess people asked for colors that were not duplicated and then they started adding more sets um so but of of all of them I've really enjoyed having these these three together the land the cityscape set was really good for me because I live in New York City and I'm you know I do some plein air painting although I don't take my emgrams out as much as I used to because colors like that terra rosa never really dry so it's kind of a pain if you move around too much and you can have a whole big mess in your palette. So I don't take my emgrams out as much as I used to, but um, there are some colors that you can take out. Um, and I think the cityscape does have colors that do, that don't, um, that dry really well. So if you wanted to do just plain air, you could do just the cityscape set. Um, anyway, all right, after this, we are gonna get to the swatching. And then while I swatch, I'll talk over, um, I'll do a voiceover and uh, give you some thoughts on the various colors um, and how I've used them or how I plan to use them. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so as I've said in the past, I do have low vision, so, um, doing an entire painting with the camera on is a little bit difficult for me. So we do these swatches instead and I hope you guys enjoy them anyway. All right. So this first color is Hansa yellow and it is PY3. Um, it wasn't one of the colors that was in one of the sets. This is Hansa yellow deep and it's PY93. Um, I think of the two, I kind of like the Hansa yellow deep a little bit better. That's the one that's included in one of the sets. Um, the next one is Azo Orange and that's PO62. And that's one of the things I like about these sets is that some of these colors are not colors that I would necessarily pick for myself. And having them in this set gives me a chance to really sort of learn a new color and try different ways of using um, these colors. 
the um the azo orange was in the marine scape set this is the cadmium red light and it is pr 108 um this one wasn't in one of the sets actually uh the next color is the pyro red which is very much a medium red and that one was in the cityscape set the pyro red is pr254 and i did notice that except for the quin set there's not really a cool red in these sets um the closest thing is the permanent alizarin crimson which is medium to coolish um but the the quin set is the one that has the the rose uh the the quin red which is what this one is and the one after that which is the quin rose the quin red is pr209 and the quin rose is pv19 the two are very similar but of the two i like this one here the quin rose better you can see that the flow is a little bit more interesting and not quite as flat as the quin red so of the two i like the the quin rose a little bit better the next color up is the permanent alizarin crimson this is pr 264 and this one is in the marine scape set and the marine scape set out of all of them is the one that comes to the closest to having one each of the primaries i mean there's not really a yellow but you can kind of get something yellow like out of the either the azo orange or the raw sienna and then you have the permanent um the permanent alizarin crimson and that one the next one up is the quin violet um, and that was also pv19 and this one here is the ultramarine pink um, this one is pr258 um, I'm not usually a fan of pinks, but this isn't, this is more of a purplish than a pinkish color, but I like it nonetheless. This one here is diazosine violet, and it's actually quite a very strong violet. Um, I did use very, very light color, um, but this diazosine purple is PV23, and it's a wonderful, wonderful, um, very typical diazosine violet. The next one is pb60 um and here it's called anathoquinone uh blue um this also goes by the name of indian throne blue which i think is a slightly different something something um, anyway um but it is also pb60 and i love pb60 and I always put it in my base palettes I had a little bit of an editing error and didn't show me swatching in the ultramarine blue um, the Persian blue and now I'm doing the thalo blue which is PB15.3 this is the thalo green which is PG7 and it's actually quite a vibrant color I did also switch to the water brush um, I'm not sure why I made that switch but I did make that switch this is sap green and it's actually one of my favorites that well I just tend to love sap green anyway um, and this is PG7 and PY 110 um so i just tend to like sap greens just as a color this is yellow ochre which is the color i'm sort of growing into more and more i wasn't really that fan of yellow ochre but i've been growing into it more and more um, especially for mixes like sand um, and uh, animal textures that's also really good for yellow ochre and it is py43 this is quin gold and it is po uh 49 i'm sorry po48 and py150 and the next one is a true raw sienna which is pbr7 um and i did like this this is a, a lighter sort of uh tone of the raw sienna but it goes into very light tones very nicely um and uh works out really well this is terra rosa which i like as a color but in a palette this is just a pr 101 and a lot of these pr 101 colors just don't ever dry all the way um and so i had this in a travel palette and it just created a, a big old mess so now i don't put uh terra rosa in travel palettes anymore but it is a great color um, especially for earth tones as well as for using just um as a single color in a monochrome sketch um this is 
quinacridone rust and it is py48 and i got this in the quinacridone set and i actually really really like this color it's sort of like if queen gold and burnt sienna um had a baby kind of a color um speaking of burnt sienna this is burnt sienna um there's a very typical burnt sienna um it's really nice burnt sienna the next one is Burnt Umber, both the Burnt Sienna and the Burnt Umber, um, obviously are PBR 7s, um, and I really enjoy this color. Uh, the next three colors, I believe, are all from the city, no, they're not. Um, two of these colors are from the city, from the cityscape set, and the other one is, um, I forgot what set the other one is, but this next one here is um sepia which is a pbr7 and pbk6 neutral tint um which is pv19 and pg7 and Payne's gray which is pbk9 and pb29 um i've sort of been going back and forth as to which one of these to put in a palette because i do like to have a sort of darker almost black color in a palette um, they're great for cityscapes. Um, two of these colors are from the cityscape. The sepia and the Payne's gray are both from the cityscapes. And those colors work really well in the cityscape. Um, they also work well for making not just various kinds of grays, but for making other colors a little darker and a little bit moodier. Um, less than a, it's sort of, it becomes a little bit grubby. Um, and I, all right. So I thought I'd come back in for some conclusions. Um, and, uh, yes. So, um, so this is me trying to draw some stuff that I tried to draw. This is not exactly perfect that I don't have the skill to replicate this painting. So I tried my best to do it and, um, I got the color a little bit wrong. Um, I think I was trying to use just I was trying to use just the colors in this landscape set to do it and um I think um if I had it to do over again I would probably just use all the colors but um but I just want to you know use some of the stuff and show you some of the stuff that's uh that's possible with some of the colors um in this set uh but uh yeah so overall I really like these paints these are very strong strong pigmented paints and um, if you guys want to see a full review of these paints, let me know. Um, if you guys want to see me just do a review of the individual sets, let me know that also down in the comments. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I think I'm going to try in the new year to be less shy about sharing my my art stuff and to be less self-conscious about sharing my uh, my art stuff since I, I know I'm just a beginner. So it's all just like, you know, it's all just like, the learning process I had um I just now got some masking fluid that doesn't smell so strongly that I can't use it um but I did have a little bit of problems getting some of that out so I learned a couple of things here about masking fluid so every every painting for me now is a, it's a sort of a learning odyssey anyway um thank you guys so much for watching um let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see a uh, updated review of the M Graham paints um, if you guys want to see an up, a review of the individual sets, um, cause I do have charts of just the individual sets. Um, and that's it. All right. Have a good day. Bye. And a happy new year to everybody. All right. Bye. I have Stewie for you guys. So I just thought I would show you Bella in her new spot. And she wonders why I'm bothering her in her new spot. This is like her. Her new favorite spot to sleep in during the day, Pelita. All right, I'll leave her alone.